Hey everyone, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to be doing a clean with me video. I haven't done one of these in like years. I remember doing like a few of these back when I lived on the island. So when I like first started my channel and I never really got around to doing it again in my other places I've lived. But I wanted to give the house like a good clean because we are going to be decorating for Christmas soon. And I will be doing a separate video on that. But I just wanted to get the apartment nice and clean so that way... I um, you know, I have like a blank canvas when it was time to decorate. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I do have a small apartment, so this really didn't take me that long, but it was filmed over the course of two days. So first I'm getting started on dishes on this day. Uh, I had like went through the cupboards and all that and like cleaned out my fridge so I had a lot of like containers and dishes I had to get done and I always like to do that first before I do anything in the kitchen just because that way at least that part's done and it clears out the sink so that way I can wash it which you'll see me do next. And I'm using this brush from Dollar Tree to clean out my sink. I like having like a separate brush to clean out my sink. I don't like to use the sponge I use for my dishes. I don't know if that makes sense or not. And I just wiped it out with a paper towel just to get any other debris out. And then I'm going to the counters. I like to scrub them first with a sponge and get it nice and soapy. And then I spray it down with my Method multi-purpose cleaner with just a dish rag and um, I also decided to clean the microwave because I knew it hadn't been done in a while. And I also decided to uh, take the count microwave off the counter because I know that probably hadn't been done since the microwave was put on that spot. So I did have the help of my boyfriend. He held the microwave while I cleaned underneath it and then I had him put it back. And then I'm just going to be doing the floors of my kitchen. So first I'm just sweeping it and then I end up using uh, my wet jet. Guys, that bathroom door kept opening every time I tried to shut it. Um, I'm using this wet jet and I really don't like wet jets. I really want to mop, but this has been doing the job for the most part. And now this was done on a different day, the rest of my cleaning. So I'm getting started on the living room, just clearing off any thing on the bookshelf or the side table just like decluttering and throwing out wrappers and stuff and then I'm taking dishes to the sink just getting things off the floor trying to put everything in its place and then I'm going to be straightening out our couch cover we hate this thing we got it from Walmart and it's always falling down we need it like one that like can actually like hook onto the couch or something but we have it because this is an used couch and it has stains on it we bought it for like 50 bucks off someone and it has like a lot of stains on it. So the couch cover is to like hide that slash makes me less grossed out to sit on it. And then I'm just going to vacuum. The texture on my rug makes it so I don't notice dirt very well because you just don't see it. So this had, hadn't been done in quite a while. And actually it was kind of a shame because like, you know, when you can hear like the dirt sucking up into your vacuum, I swear I was hearing it for like five to 10 minutes straight. I was like vacuuming. I was so ashamed, but I'm just so glad to get the floors cleaned. And then I'm going to be going over to my little kitchen table slash dining room table. And I'm just going to clear off the newspapers that I had put on the day before and just trying to find a home for all the stuff that gets collected on that table. I swear that table, like we do eat at it, but it does end up being a catch-all. And then once everything is cleared, I'm just going to also put uh, everything off the table and give it a good wipe down. I'm using my Method multi-purpose spray again for this and just using a paper towel for the table. And then I'm just going to put my little fall bouquet. I am going to be putting that away when I do my Christmas decorating and then I'm just lighting a candle and I'm back in the kitchen because like I said this was strung out between two days so I'm back in here redoing the counters because obviously they need to be wiped down every single day and then I show you guys me putting away the dishes that are my dish rack and then I also did do the dishes but I didn't film me doing it again since you had already watched me do the dishes at the beginning of the video I figured you guys didn't really care to see it twice also let me know down below if you guys want, I, I hadn't done this in a while, so like, I didn't know whether to slow down the clips to speed them up even more. Like, what is your guys' sweet spot? Do you guys want like a longer cleaning video with like slightly slower clips? Or do you like the way that I edit it today? Let me know down below. 
So now I'm going into the bathroom, which needed a good deep clean. So first I'm starting with my sink, taking everything that I could off of it. I didn't move my boyfriend's razors, but everything else I kept, I took off the counter, I should say. And I'm going to be giving it a scrub with my Clorox, Clorox disinfecting wipes. I normally wouldn't use this. I actually have a method bathroom cleaner I use with like a microfiber cloth, but since I had these on hand, I decided to just use them so that way I could use them up. Uh, I know they're not environmentally friendly, so forgive me for that. And then I'm going to be wiping down the backsplash and also like the wall underneath my mirror I thought was kind of gross, so I just gave it a quick wipe. And I'm just going to put everything back onto the counter, making sure it looks all nice. And then I'm going to be moving onto the area where the toilet is. So I like to take everything off the toilet and then I clean it from top to bottom just because that way everything that gets cleared off like dust, I always feel like there's a lot of dust on the top of the toilet tank. That way everything just like falls and then you're going to clean it as you go down if that makes sense. So I clean it from top to bottom making sure to wipe it out. I didn't have to scrub out the inside and when I don't need to do that what I do like to do is just put a splash of bleach in the toilet water just so that way it whitens the bowl even more. Um, when I moved in, the toilet actually had like a black ring around it and we ended up like pouring bleach into it and then just letting it sit and it actually got rid of that ring. So I like to just put like a little splash if I don't need to actually like scrub the toilet bowl. And now I'm going to be doing my shower. I took everything out and using the Scrub and Bubbles bathroom grime cleaner. And I really like this tool. I'll link it down below. It's from Scotch Bright. And this is literally just like a sponge on a long handle, but it makes it so I don't have to get on my knees. It makes it so I don't have to get into the shower. I hate getting into the shower when it's full of bathroom cleaner because I don't want it like on my feet and whatnot. And my shower has a shower head that's like removable, so I'm able to like spray it out. And then I'm just putting everything back into the shower. And then the last thing I really had to do was just give it a good sweep. So I'm just going to do that. Sometimes I go over it with my wet jet, but I decided not to do it on this particular day. And then I'm going to just refill my toilet holder. I got that from Walmart for like $8. And then I'm just changing out my trash. I just reuse my grocery bags. I keep them when I put groceries away and then use them for the little trash can. And I'm shutting my curtain and then that's it for the bathroom. And then the last thing I have to do is my bedroom. And my bedroom was really easy because we only sleep in here. We don't really hang out. So all I have to do is make the bed and then I decided to give it a good vacuum because I knew that that hadn't been done in a while as well. I didn't have to go in depth with the vacuum this room as much as I did the living room but nevertheless the floors are now clean and that was everything for this clean with me video. So I have a small apartment so obviously this didn't take me very long. I think probably between the two days I probably cleaned for a good two hours I would say. I probably could have even done it faster. Maybe if you guys want, I'll do a power hour for my next video, a uh, cleaning video, I should say. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more clean with me videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can just go ahead and click that little red thing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.